so glad you're here, beautiful one. Today I will be continuing the conversation on uh, chakras. And so today is day 17 of 21 Days of Essence. And uh, the last couple days I've been discussing the chakras. We are up to the third chakra, to Manipura. And Manipura is a very important chakra for several reasons. So I will share a bit about it, and by the end you will know if trauma from your life has impacted your third chakra. And I will also let you know at the end about a webinar I'm doing that will give you more information, and it's a free webinar. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so I'm trying not to knock over my camera. Okay, so th what the third chakra, I'm going to give you the overview of the issues, right? what it governs. Okay, and then I'll expand and riff on it a little bit. So the third chakra has to do with fire, the quality of fire. The ancients felt that we were, you know, it's a macrocosm and a microcosm that we are all connected. So fire, we have fire within ourselves. That specifically has to do with digestion and metabolism. Fire, power, right? That's why I titled power is the last one. Um, We've got money, sex, power. Power is the third chakra. It's very much about personal power, how much power, how much energy you're able to put out into the world to manifest what you desire. It's very, very, very strongly related to the third chakra, okay? Uh, your will, your will and your autonomy. Autonomy is sort of your own sort of individual sense of what you want to do, where you want to go, you know, that's the direction I want to go. Others may tell you, go left, go this way, and you're like, nope, this is the way I want to go because it's really, you're really connected into your third chakra and to that energy, and that energy is very strong and clear. Uh, so yes, energy in the body, metabolism, as I mentioned, very much has to do with digestion. And also technology. Fire is linked with technology in the yogic thought. Um, all of that digital stuff uh, builds fire and relates to the element of fire. Also, the third chakra has to do very much with transformation. So the second chakra, we talked a little bit about flow and change, but fire, if you think about it, fire is really like what takes food from off of from a state where we really can't eat it or enjoy it and, and changes, it transforms the state. So it's very, very powerful for, for letting go of the old, sort of destroying the old and creating the new. So transformation is linked with that. Uh, third chakra. And finally, uh, self-esteem overall. Okay, so because that has to do with our sense of will and our sense of autonomy, personal power. So the main thing, goddess, that affects this chakra in terms of trauma, and again, they're all linked, all of the chakras are linked, but we're just focusing on the first three, what are called the lower triangle by Yogi Bhajan. Uh, Yogi Bhajan was the, he brought Kundalini Yoga to the West, and I just like that term. I'm not really relating specifically to his teachings, but to this lower triangle. It very much has to do with our, um, our sense of how we manage and move and navigate through the world. So a lot of us, if you have had trauma, you tend to be, and I haven't mentioned this in the other two videos particularly, but you tend to be in the upper chakras. You sort of, your spirit, your soul, your energy tends to be a little disembodied. Um, you know, let that just sit. See if that makes sense with you. So we might be a little more um, cerebral, intellectual, analytical, um, and also just disconnected from the physical world and the physical body. Often, if you've had, and depending on the trauma, on the severity of the trauma, so here, the main issue that I feel damages this third chakra has to do with um, where we were not allowed to express our own power, our own desires. And so I will give you an example from my life. And then please share in the comments your insights around this. Uh, so like the third chakra, as a lot of you know, so I was a teacher and I left uh, college teaching because there was bullying happening for me and because my third chakra was very weak. You know, why does one person get bullied and not another? Okay, so now this gets into deeper issues too, perhaps karma and of course there's societal issues. But again, two beings, two human beings, we have different energies. And so my third chakra 
uh, for a variety of reasons, was already weakened, sort of too open, just not energized, not really empowered. And so what hurts that third chakra is others will sort of come in and really basically dominate you, abuse you, mistreat you. And this can happen starting, of course, as a child. So like an overly strict parent, an authoritarian parent, which I had in my father. My father was very, very authoritarian and very dominant. And so the child isn't allowed um, to kind of maybe make mistakes or, or, you know, do things wrong or explore. It very, very tightly controlled. That'll lead to a weak sense of the third chakra and again you may come in with this sort of karmically this imprint of that from I believe we do have past lives that we live multiple lives um, so if you even in later life end up getting bullied or abusive relationships where you're uh, pushed around dominated silenced uh, not allowed to act you know to to create what you want to that will damage the third chakra and so um, I know, you know, that may have happened for a lot of us. And I feel like especially women, that is a chakra that we're not really um, in touch with. You know, it's fiery. It's, it's, it's about getting what we want in the world. And we know that a lot of times our society, and depending on your age, more so if you're older, you grew up in a time where, uh, you know, still, wasn't there a recent video, a meme about uh, bossy, girls being called bossy? You know, and I've often been called, not often, but have been called bossy because if you know what you want and you're clear about it, that's sort of a fire energy and you start to create it. Now, of course, every successful person has that, but, um, you know, you know, if you're not a movie star or a rock star or something, that fire, um, sometimes the people around you want to put it out. They want to douse the fire, basically, because the fire also is very much about ambition the fiery quality is related to ambition because it's about your will and about what you want to do. So, you know, consider this. Think about in your life, have you been derailed or um, thrown off from what you want to do? Um, do you start something and then lose interest or others tell you it's not going to work or, or maybe the slightest sort of thing that happens, it doesn't work and you give up. So that's related to that third chakra, to that fire chakra. So very, very important chakra. And as I mentioned, digestion and your overall health of your body is that solar chakra, okay? Because it has to do with uh, the ancient saw, the digestion as a fire. It's like a pot and it's burning and breaking down the food. And so, and they use the term digestive fire a lot. So a weak digestive fire means also I, you're not able to kind of take in ideas Again, that goes back to transformation. So it's it's beautiful and it's circular and it affects many areas of our lives. So if you're interested in strengthening your personal power, your will, this is a chakra you'll want to work on. We will be working on Manipura in the upcoming course that I will be teaching. The link is below. I'll be offering a free webinar, you guys, longer than this with Q&A. And so you can kind of find out more about these chakras, the root, the second, and the third chakra. So let's tune in, like we did in the previous two videos, let's tune in to the third chakra this time. Okay, let me just move something over here. So get comfortable. Now I'm wearing like the least third chakra color. Third chakra is generally associated with yellow. Those are newer attributes. The ancient writings would give different colors. I think it also depends on how clear and bright the chakra is, how healthy, things like that. Generally, we just associate yellow, the sun, solar. Come to sitting comfortably as usual, like we did in the other videos. Three deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, hold the breath, feel yourself filled up, powered up, charged up. Exhale through the mouth, long, slow breath. You can even make a soft sound, ah, sound, drag it out. When you're ready now, locate your belly button and maybe an inch above that area. If you kind of took your fingers and went right around your belly button, then a little above and now Go back through your body towards the spine and feel that third chakra, Manipura. The quality of fire, the quality of warmth, dynamism. 
creative energy in, in a certain way, that aspect of, of doing and putting it out into the world. Tune into that third chakra. I will also put a video I have that tells you more about the third chakra and ends with the guided meditation with the seed sound, but we won't do that today. Today we're just sensing in, which is the first step. You have to be able to try to feel them. Can you feel where the chakra is within your body and then within your energy or subtle body? So belly button, belly, can you feel energy? Again, if you don't meditate regularly or you have a very busy mind or, or poor concentration, which I very much had and still do to some extent, it may be hard to focus. So you may not feel anything, okay? But I'm asking you to kind of feel subtle energy. It might feel like a tingling or circular sense of swirling energy in line with the belly button, in line with the navel and along the spine but at that height and feel that it's like there's a flower bud on the spine and it opens up towards the front, towards the belly button. Trying to sense and feel, feel that the breath comes in, the belly expands and you're nourishing that third chakra, the aliveness of the third chakra and you breathe out, release any tension, any stress, especially from that chakra. Feel that you're letting go, releasing any issues with power, with authority, with self-authority and inner authority. Just keep your attention there. As I'm meditating with you, I can feel energy. It feels like it's, it's a spinning, it's a circular energy. But again, this can take some practice. If you do yoga or any sort of mind-body practice, you're more likely to be able to feel it easily. <sighs> Tuning in. And as we get ready to open our eyes and come back to our everyday awareness, still maintaining a sense and awareness of that third chakra within the body, within the subtle body. Feeling empowered, tapping into that fire within the body, the warmth, the temperature, the warmth of the blood, the warmth of the breath, all of that warmth in the body is related to that third chakra. So guys, again, there is a a free webinar and I'll have Q&A and we'll do some more practices and my program is starting soon so the webinar <coughs> excuse me uh, shares more with you on that and gives you more practices so it is wonderful whether or not you're going to take the chakra course with me the best way to find out the most current information is to look at the information right below this video and so may you feel empowered may you feel strong and no need to exert control over others because you feel you have control within. You're able to envision what you want, put it out beautifully into the world and have it manifest. So I would love to see you in the course. We're gonna work and strengthen these. So your ability to manifest your vision, your hopes, your goals in the world is heightened and you become a dynamic individual in the world. So this is especially good too if you're shy. That third chakra work is very good if you are uh, uh, feel very shy and you want to be a little more outgoing. Mwah. Namaste, goddess. It was great seeing you. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and you appreciate the effort. I really appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't. Bye-bye now. Be well.